what's going on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel it's farm some news man it's take farm some time. today we've got 38 pc mods of testing we've got eight console mods of testing with all those 17 mods were released today the abp team are back working on the massey pack for real this time ja modding releases the engine specs of his 8110 julian f modding is updating their agco and white ground chief the sr modding sir are putting the rigid attachments on the back of their 400 blue Augen modding is updating their massey 7600 Carl farms is updating his AFS Connect Tigers. Black Eyes Official Mining teases with something, and I have no idea what it is. MRG Mapping talks about not one, but four new maps, and one of them's a console map. Farming Agency have released Sandy Bay version 1.2. Lancy Boy has new screenshots of his next map, The American Life of Farming. Plus, Oxygen David is making the PDA on Comston Farms 4K. Let's check it out. In Test T4 PC, we have the Annaburger HTS 2279 Multi Land Plus, British Shed, Composter, Cork County, Dabraka, Noise 4 Agrotron MK3 Series, Equipment with John Deere Tools, Hydraulic Tipper 10 Ton, John Deere 7030, John Deere S600 S700 Combines, Joskin Terminal, Gamaz 55111, Knees KD 180, Lizard 600 EL, Lizard Easy Scrape, Lizard Esner 5, Lizard Rollmaster, Lizard T Series 2 Brazil, Lizard 7T221, Machine Shed, Map Extender Modular Cell Points, OU2 Fire Extinguisher, Pallet Storage Pack, Placeable Cell Points, Polish Fertilizers Bag 50 Liter, Rouse Xera C1, Rouse Xera H1101, Reindeer, Richard West's Suffolk 18T Trailer, Riverbird, Scania T Series 2 Brazil, Seed Production for Realistic Seeds, Seed Production, Silage Silo Maze and Horse Extension, Small Hall, Thermal Power Station, Back Vacutech VA 7300 and the weight 600 2400 kg pack. In testing for console, we have the all in one silo system, Greenlands, Green River 2019, John Deere 1720 2012, Kuhn RM 610R, Bassey Ferguson 200, Riverbird, and the weight pack 600 1000 kg. With all that being said, we still have 38 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still at one work day. In addition to the mods of testing, 17 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up including the new holland 8066 i've already made a video showing these off you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below a few days ago i misspoke about the old gen massey pack but evidently my mistake was quite timely because ada modding has posted some new information about the old gen massey pack he says that they're working on the i3d mapping on the xml files now they took a break from the pack because they were getting burned out on it as there's a lot of equipment coming with this pack but now they are back and better than ever and they are determined to get this out asap and it is their current focus right now the abp modding team ja modding brings us some specs for his upcoming john deere 8110 which will have eight different engine options including the 8110 8210 8310 and you guessed it the 8410 and they will also have t versions as well ranging from 183 to 261 horsepower model is almost done just a few things left to do before getting it in game julian f modding is updating the white field boss and agco ground chief over the next week to fix some issues that the community has reported including in that update will be a size update which some of you have reported the model being a little bit small so it's going to be increased to match the real life model the hood will be longer the cab set higher bigger wheels and so on there is also going to be better dampening with the suspension, so in the fields, you're not going to be bouncing around as much. Minor bugs have, of course, been fixed. Sounds are a bit quieter, and all the wheel options that are available on the PC version will also be available on the console version as well. BSR Monic Sir say that their HY400 is pending, and after permission from A2 Studio, it's going to be coming with the option to attach all of the TLX9000 rigid attachments to that HY400, making it one of, if not the first official mod to have permission to support A2's mods on their own, other than the fact that half of the mods on ModUp use the TLX color palette, but that's a different story altogether. It's very exciting to see these two working together to make our gameplay even better. Lou Algen Modding is updating their Massey Ferguson 7600 series to version 1.1, which was sent off to Giants for testing yesterday, so we should see it on the testing list tomorrow. Included with this update are new rear wheel weights and a new rear fender, which has been 
added for the customization menu, so you can choose narrow fenders like the 6600 Massey. There's also some small issues and some bugs that have been squished. Crawl Farms has an update to his Case IH AFS Cadex Steiger. However, this update is only available for PC players as it adds a simple IC version, but also in the update is a version without simple IC, and the update fixes connection hoses on the quick hitch option and a fix to the log error when loading in. You can download this on their Facebook page, of course, link below. Additionally from Crawl Farms, he's almost done with the Kim Farm tanks and plans to submit them for testing for all platforms under the brand name KFM or KF Manufacturing if all goes to plan, and will be using that brand for future rebranded items as well, so to avoid the issues with the brand West, like the big trailers from a few months ago. These new tanks will feature a three-point attachment, so they will be compatible with all tractors that have a front three-point hitch, as well as Carl's modded four-wheel drive tractors that all have the required attachment uh, done as well. Don't worry, the AFS Steigers will. There's still more information to come, he says on this mod, so stay tuned. Black Eyes official modding say, let's see who could notice the two details on the next update to say Del Nord. I can tell you that I think I have at least one of them, which is the crop destruction of the corn stalks. They're much smaller after the combine drives over them. However, I cannot seem to find change number two. Possibly the corn stalks themselves? Well, let me know what you think they are in the changes uh, down in the comment section below, or check out Black Eyes Special Modding and let them know, of course, link below. MRG Mapping is happy to announce that Farmersburg Remastered will be released for beta testing this week, and if all goes well with that map, it will be released to the public around Friday, April 23rd, which is in a little over two weeks from the time of recording this video. The remastered edition is very different from the original, so so much the fact that it's pretty much a new map. You guys are going to love it. He goes on to say that Clark Farms Remastered will also be getting quite different from the original, but we won't be seeing that for another month or so. MRG finishes by saying that Lincoln Creek and his console map are his primary focuses at the moment, which is very exciting stuff coming our way. Oh yeah. Farming Agency and the Alien Paul have released Sandy Bay version 1.2 on their Discord, which adds support for the horse extension as well as precision farming. They have also added compost to the map, which is very exciting. Farming Agency are the guys behind Maze Plus, and I know that they changed the game, and you guys know they changed the game in all the right ways. They do say that if you want to download it, you'll have to unzip the RAR file first. Farming Agency precision farming version included to make compost work correctly with precision farming, which is necessary for all of the coming updates to their maps and a few coming to ModHub as well. This one is for PC only, so do keep that in mind. And if you want to join their Discord and download this for yourself, I will leave a link to that down in the description below. Lancy Boy has posted a few new pics of his next map, The American Life of Farming, which is based in Ohio, USA. Each of these pics was tagged with the text, No Shaders, telling me that you're going to be getting the same lighting no matter what platform you play this map on. Lancy Boy is no stranger to custom lighting as he's used it on multiple of his most recent maps, notably for myself anyway, is Charwell. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best map that, or the best lighting I've seen on any map in Farm Sim. That's just me. This map is looking absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to play on it. And lastly today, Oxygen David has released the official PDA of his next map, Comston Farms, saying that his first, this will be his first 4K PDA which is very extra detailed when zooming in and out. That way you can not only find what you're looking for, but since he uses real life PDAs, you can also see the real world detail of the map as well. Just another instance of Oxy going above and beyond to make our gameplay experience even better. But unfortunately, my segues are just as bad, lazy, and cringe as they have been the days before and will continue to be. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. So no release dates for mods, myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of daily farming simulator videos, tomorrow I will only have a Let's Play from Bucks County, PA, as well as possibly a live stream from my new house. There'll be no new mod video and no farm some news tomorrow, so I'm going to be out of town and unable to do anything. Got to do some adult stuff. Ugh. All that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later.
right, boys and girls, let's go buy a new house.